Hey guys, so now we're going to do the game over screen. So we're going to hover over our choose a sprite. We're going to click on the paint tool and we're going to go ahead and call this sprite game over. We're going to go ahead and use our text tool and go ahead and pick a color that we want to use for our game over screen. Pick the font that we want to use. And then we're going to go ahead and type in game over. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. And then we're going to go ahead and decorate it any way that we want. So we can add stuff around it, um, whatever we want in designs that we can add explosions if you want. So an example of this can be, I'm going to go ahead and make this a bright red. I'm going to add a square. I'm going to use my reshape tool and kind of push in all the different sides. And then once I'm happy with this, I'll add it to the center as well and move it to the back. I can also copy and paste it. Spin it around and move it to the back. So I can also add a bar, uh, just like we did for the title screen. That's also optional as well. So I'm going to go ahead and make a box. That covers my game over. I'm going to move it back and then forward. And then I can also go ahead and play around with it using the reshape tool. So there's many ways that you guys can go ahead and customize it. Once you're done customizing, we're going to go ahead and code it. So if you want to, you can go ahead and pause this video. And now we're going to go ahead and work on the code. So on the code tab, we're going to go into the yellow events tab and use when green flag is clicked. We're going to go into looks and add a hide. Then inside the blue motions tab, we're going to add a go to X negative 480. And our Y is going to be 40. Next, in the yellow events tab, we're going to use a when I receive. We're going to go ahead and type in a new message and type in player lose and click OK. Underneath that, we're going to go into looks. We're going to add a show. Uh, go to front layer to make sure it shows up exactly where you want it to. And inside the blue motions tab, we're going to add a glide X and Y. We're changing the 1 to 0 0.1, the X to 0, and the Y to 40. Okay. So we won't be able to test this out until we actually lose. But if you do want to test it out, you can always click on the when I receive lose, player lose. You can kind of see exactly how it's going to look. Okay. So now that this is over, you guys are pretty much done with week two core. The next step for those of you who need to can go ahead and move on to week two deep dive lessons.